is Thursday right now and I'm off Friday and Monday for the 4th of July. That's exciting. I don't know what to do with all this time I have. So I decided to start this vlog now and today is a crazy day because my Patreon is launching tomorrow. It's gonna be fun, fun vlog. Goodbye. morning guys it's saturday right now and i literally just woke up i have to go run to the post office right now before it closes at 12. i have six orders to drop off today i watched stranger things with my family like the last two episodes <laughs> crazy but i'm gonna change actually i'm not gonna wear i'm not gonna wear my pajamas out and that i don't really have any other plans the only other thing i need to do is pick the July book club book. The books I have on me that I haven't read yet are We Were Villains, The Guest List, and Malibu Rising. So I might pick like another book and then maybe see if it's like on Audible or on my Kindle. I don't know. What, what books do you guys like to read? Because I do want to choose books that like everyone likes to read. So I feel like contemporary fiction is like a safe choice. Okay, hey, I need to leave like right now. Action. doing some clock sketches I'd like to give a huge thank you to Skillshare for being a longtime sponsor of my channel. Skillshare is an online learning community with tons of classes for creative and curious people. They have classes on anything from illustration, graphic design, freelancing. If it's a creative topic you bet there is a class for on Skillshare. And not only is there a huge community on there, it's a really great place to learn new skills and just get inspired. I learned how to create digital illustrations two years ago using Skillshare and so many of my favorite artists actually have classes on there. Right now I've been really into sketchbooking as you can see and journaling so I'm loving any classes about sketchbook prompts, daily sketching, etc. Like these classes right here. I really like Mike Lowry's sketchbook classes. If you want to check out Skillshare for yourself and learn something new, the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So yeah, definitely check it out. And you could see I was really inspired by Stranger Things in this clip because I could not get Vecna's clock out of my head. I'm so comfortable. Since it is the weekend, we're gonna do stuff that I've been putting off. Um, I have, I don't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> Um, I have a couple things that I've been meaning to add to my room and I've been collecting little things here and there that I need to hang up, but I've been too lazy to do it. So we're going to do it today. found these really cute fruit and veggie knobs on Etsy and there was a corn but they ran out so I just got two tomatoes um, but look how cute this strawberry one is so I'm gonna put them and replace those old dingy round knobs because those are ugly these drawers propagation in my snake pot and put it up there. <laughs> what 
is good. I'm filming a sketchbook reel right now. I went to the resource exchange last week and it's like a thrift store for like every supply you need. It had like literally everything there and I got a couple items. The first thing was this ruler right there. And I got these two pencils. This is a pastel pencil. It says made in France. And then I also got this green one um, because I liked the color. And they also had these cool whole bean, whole bine pastels. So I got oxide yellow, oxide green, may green, blue violet, and indigo like this is such a nice color palette so i want to try them out today and i figured i would just do like a sketchbook reel for it anyway so it's like a mini haul slash using the materials and look how awesome this desk is because it has the usb cable i could just plug in my phone so my phone doesn't die the book club book that we picked for this month let me check the poll. I actually love the Patreon polling feature. It's so fun being able to get your guys' opinions on stuff. Four choices we had were The Guest List by Lucy Foley, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Convenience Store Woman by Sakaya Murata. I hope I'm saying their name right. And then the last one is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. Um, there were zero votes for that one, which I thought that one would be the most popular, but so far, Convenience Store Woman is on the top so next month if you guys want to be able to vote on the book club book join my three dollar shrimp chip book club tier and then you can vote on the next book but that is what we're going to be reading and this book club is going to be super casual i don't think like you're not forced to read the book each month it's just a nice place to like chat and you know find people who like similar interests as you a little bit so kind of bored I haven't been really doing anything all day so I think I'm gonna do my reading wrap-up now where my art journal is oh there it is trusty little art journal I finished the other half of braiding sweetgrass so I'm going to do half of that book because I did the other half last month and then the other two books I read were very like summer vibes we have book lovers by Emily Henry which was a super cute um, I have read all of Emily Henry's books. My favorite one is Beach Read. I don't know, that one just like hit, hit so good. I also read Daisy Jones and The Six, which was so good. I think it might be a little difficult coming up with visuals for these. I do have a couple good quotes though. So I'm just gonna like sketch a little bit, think about what I want the spread to look like. Because with romance books, I always find it so hard to do like a visual for it because it's just like people, I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a thing because the setting was this really small town in the, I think South Carolina? South Carolina, it was just like a small town vibe. So maybe I'll draw like a little town, I don't know.
started making this cold brew from Taya Coffee, Taya, Taya, and it is so good with like a little bit of simple syrup and oat milk. Delicious. Like the first time I made it wrong because I used like too much cold brew and you only need like two tablespoons of it, but it's so good. But today is one of those days where I woke up five minutes before my first meeting of the day and it is almost 11 o'clock now. I have another meeting at 11. Um, but yeah, lots of emails at work today, making emails, sending emails, designing emails, stuff like that. So I'm, that's what I'm mainly focusing on at work today, but I don't know. Lately, I've been feeling like I am not cut out to be a corporate girl, I'm not cut out for an office job, and being a full-time artist seems very nice. Although I'm not at that point yet where I would feel comfortable with quitting my job and having that extra stream of income. Yeah, we're not at that point yet, but that is, that has been more on my mind as time goes on. I don't really have any crazy plans today. I might like catch up on sleep actually because I'm so tired and I've been going to bed at like 2 a.m. because I've just been watching YouTube until like 2 a.m. and I know I should be going to bed, but I am up watching YouTube and I can't stop. Like I literally have been watching the randomest things. Like, I have like an older CRV, like a 2013 CRV, and I have been getting so many videos on how to convert your SUV car or how to convert your CRV into like a camper vehicle. And I'm like, hmm, thinking, like I don't even go camping. <laughs> but I was like, that would be so cool. Like maybe I will be a camper girl. Should I do that? I, am, I probably won't, but should I? <laughs> on my lunch break now, I usually take like about an hour um, and I like to go to the post office during this time if I do have orders. So I'm gonna go to the post office, get my walk-in. I don't know if... I've been wearing this for like the past three days. So yeah, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change. Oh, I got some packages. There's another one these packages um, these are super fun packages um they're pretty much just like packaging stuff but i ordered a thousand of each one because i figured with my patreon opening and shop updates i'll have eventually like i will use a thousand of them eventually <laughs> crossing my fingers but no it's a lot cheaper to buy them in bulk like this rather than purchasing them over and over again at small quantities for an expensive, more expensive amount. So I just bit the bullet. Um, it kind of sucks paying for shipping stuff because it's one, it's not fun and it's like can get expensive spending all of that money at one time. But I figured it is cheaper in the long run to buy them all in bulk. So that is what I did. So nice. So <laughs> there's a lot in here. Um, I got five by seven envelopes. Uh, these are from Jam Paper and these are a hundred, and these are made from 100% recycled materials. They had these really cute pink and green ones, but those were made from 30% post-consumer recycled content. Um, so I was like, oh, I'll just get white because, you know, making the better choice. So I got a thousand of those. I think these are all the same. Ugh, okay. I got a new supplier for my glassy bags. I used Mr. Takeout bags because they had these craft glassine bags that were made from recycled materials and I thought that was pretty cool. So I opted to go for them and this is, why is this taped so well? These are the ones I've been using but I'm pretty much all out. And these are the ones I ordered. So inside it's lined with like the same material, but the outside is like this craft paper material, which I think is really nice, actually. I like this, it feels more rustic. <laughs> but I ordered two sizes. So I have the four by six size and the five by seven size. So they fit both sizes of my prints. So yeah, I also ordered a thousand of each size. Like. This is a lot of bags. It's gonna last me literally forever. If guys are making big purchases like this and have a small business, I really recommend getting either a personal or business credit card with a good 
point system um, because if you're making these big purchases those points definitely add up and then you could use them towards travel towards other stuff like i'm currently trying to save my points for a imac it might take a while but <laughs> i do want to save my points for those so yeah all all these purchases like add up eventually so that is my tip of the day like if you're already spending that money you should use it to your advantage um but yeah definitely be careful with credit and everything like i'm not saying just spend a bunch of money just to get the points if you're already spending it on supplies and stuff i recommend a credit card that's my tip of the day <laughs> chip book club book of the month which is convenience store woman um i'm on page 56 right now and i am obsessed look how many sticky tabs i used a short book i didn't expect it to be this short but i'm literally blowing through this it is 10 o'clock right now i'm like fighting sleep but i kind of want to finish it like i i have this problem where well, I don't know if it's a, it's not really a problem. It could it can be seen as a problem. Um, but if I start a book, I cannot. If I'm like really into it, I cannot like do anything else until I finish it. Like I will not eat. I will not go to the bathroom. I will just sit here and finish it. Like I'm just like hyper fixated on it until it's done, which is kind of bad <laughs> because I don't focus on anything else around me I just get so sucked in and this one is pretty good so far love the descriptions of like the convenience store like any descriptions of food I really love yes if you want to join in on reading the books we do have a discord chat where we chat the books um, and then I think I want to do like some sort of sketchbook on each book which is really fun so like um, combining art and reading together. Sitting here, reading, woo! The Cowboy Bunny bookmark matches this book perfectly. Like, that is so cute. Wow. We are walking to the flea markets right now. This, so I can post on Instagram, so I'm gonna do it like super fast. So I just got out of our like strategy meeting. Um, so we basically have it like once a year-ish. And it is now three o'clock, so that was really long. I didn't really film anything in there because like there was nothing to film. I was just in a boardroom with like part of my team and we were just talking and stuff. I got to get out early at three and I have to be in a different office tomorrow, which is another like hour drive, but I have family by the office. So I think I'm going to head to my grandma's and maybe go to the beach. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. And it's so hot out. I really, I literally got in my car and changed my pants to put shorts on because I'm so tired. Like my pants are just in here and I have to get gas, um, but, I was able, uh, but I was able to take some of the food home, which was 
Nice, so now I don't have to go buy food, which is one less thing to spend money on. And I'm really glad we got out at three too because that means I don't have to sit in traffic. So yeah, let's have a nice rest of the day. I have my sketchbook. I brought the guest list by Lisa Foley. Um, I got free lunch at work today, so I brought extra sandwiches. And then I have my colored pencil pouch. Sorry, I'm kind of backlit right now, but let's go to the beach. microwave popcorn. Can we go for the, the lottery tickets? Just came back from Wawa. And we're Fred Brothers. Hi! <laughs> Got these, but we already know these are good. But then I saw these ones. The sweet tarts and chewy fingers. <laughs> then we're gonna try them. Can you guys like give, give something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Cheers. <laughs> no, what are they? <laughs> Bye. Oh my god. Wow, that's the first time I'm in Guys, fun package opening time. I kind of already ripped it open because I was like really excited. Um, but let's open it. Gage from awesome merch and it has amazing things in it um so the first thing my three bookmarks i got 500 bookmarks in this order which is a lot uh, but you guys really liked these bookmarks and i am happy to keep these up in my shop so i am restocking the bunny bookmark the sardine bookmark and the cat bookmark um, and now what this means is I have the fun task of rounding all the corners of 500 bookmarks with my little one cutter bookmark rounding stamp thing. And, okay, are you guys ready for the July Patreon rewards? The first one is the Shrimp Chip Book Club exclusive monthly bookmark. If you guys remember, I printed a test out at home, but the real bookmark it feels so nice. It's nice and smooth. These are laminated. And on the back, it has this little guy. And it just says buykittybuy.com. But I love this. You can use it both ways, depending on your mood, I guess. So good around these corners as well. And then um, I usually get my prints from moo.com. But this time I decided to test out Awesome Merch's recycled art prints. So I got 50 Patreon. Um, so I got 50 of the Patreon postcard print of the month. And if you could see like the paper is kind of speckled because this is a recycled paper. It's a little bit thinner than my prints from Moo.com, um, which... I don't know how I feel about that just yet. I do like the feel of the other ones. They feel very sturdy and then the front is nice and glossy. Um, so you are able to send it as a like, postcard if you wanted to. But for these, this is the July monthly print. And then on the back, it has a little note from me. <laughs> Our first Discord watch party. We're watching Spirit Away. <laughs> Look at everybody in the chat. This is like so fun. I love Spirit Away. I'm packing some orders while we watch. And yeah, having fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do want to join the next one, um, check out my Patreon. We're doing 
one each month. So yeah, fun. Friday, July 22nd. Um, I feel like this July vlog has been like all over the place because I did film two other videos in between if you want to see that. So I have that day of my life at work and then I also have like a little farm vlog which will be up after this video. So there's like a little gap in time right there, like a week. So it's been a while since I've talked to you for this vlog. And yeah, we're gonna do some art stuff this weekend. It is literally 3.40 right now and I just got a last minute request for this design for a ad that we have to get out so I have to do that now. I was literally planning on logging off at 4 in 20 minutes but now I'm going to be like another hour or so which is really annoying but you know, it is my job. What did I say in the last clip? Um, oh yeah, okay, finished work. So it's officially the weekend, woo! I actually didn't just finish, I actually played- I got sucked into playing Fall Guys with my brother for like an hour. Fall Guys! I finished Project Hail Mary and I'm not a big sci-fi reader, like the only other sci-fi book I've read recently was Dune. And then the other sci-fi books I read were like the dystopian novels from middle school, but this was so good. And I will admit, there was a lot of science in it, and I'm not a science person at all. Like, physics, space, all that stuff confuses the heck out of me. And I feel like he made it really accessible and readable to someone who isn't really into science. Like, I did skip a couple, like, sentences here and there, because I was like, my brain was just like, nope, that doesn't make sense at all. Um, but I really liked the story, and it was actually really sweet. Um, but I got through this big chunky book because I was sick this past week Which is why I don't even know how I got sick. I don't even go anywhere um, but Yeah, I was sick. So I was in bed reading this and I had a good time I, I decided to do a paint with me and Q&A for my July patreon Exclusive video, so I'm gonna film that right now and I still need to round the corners for the patreon physical rewards So I'm gonna do that too So I brainstormed some ideas for the August Patreon rewards and August is my birthday month so I wanted to play on like my birthday theme. So I think I'm gonna do these dancing cats, they're really cute. Um, but then I also started sketching another idea, not for Patreon but just as another illustration. I do a nice fun summer camping spread and I thought I like this little bear fishing and he's like cooking the fish he caught. He has that stereotypical picture with like the fish. I taped my sketchbook and then as soon as I finished, I was like, I do not have the energy to paint this right now or like know how to paint this. So I'm gonna like sit on this idea a little bit. I really like it. So I definitely wanna do it. But yeah, I don't have the energy to sit here right now and do that. So I'm gonna do this another day. Um, Hopefully. Um, so maybe I'll just keep sketching right now and then see what ideas come out of me that I could paint later when I'm in the mood to paint. Like, I feel like this happens a lot where I have all these ideas, but like executing on the ideas is I'm not in the mental headspace to execute everything. So that is where we're at right now. But I'm excited about these August rewards. So I'm going to do this. Fun. Um, so I'm gonna do these dancing cats for the print and then for the sticker I think I'm gonna do a fish and a little cake and then the bookmark I was playing around with the idea of like having either a giant cake with like one little cat holding it up or like the three cats holding up a little cake I don't know maybe we'll make it double-sided and then for the digital download next month I think I'm gonna do icons because I think these individual elements will look really cute as like an icon set Around these corners in bed because I'm lazy right now. <clears throat> wow, hear that ASMR? Yeah, I don't want to do it. I have to do it over the box. 
or else we're gonna get like all these corners and hurt the bed. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Here's me. Zoom in. Hello, this is gonna be the last clip of this vlog because I do need to send this video to Skillshare. But I am just prepping the July Patreon Awards because it is the end of the month now and I am in disbelief at the size of this stack for my first month. Like, you guys are so amazing. I just hit 50 patrons like two days ago and I, I don't even know what to say. Like, you guys, your support means so much to me and it's just amazing you guys have been so amazing like in our discord chat i love talking to you guys and it has just been really really fun one of these will get the print and then the sticker cap on this vlog because i've been spending like the past two days editing it started the beginning of july with the hopes that i would be able to design more products and have a shop launch in august but as you guys have watched you guys did watch the video i did not really get to that and that happens i feel like i was really busy with my first month patreon i had to go into the office way more this month so if you like noticed that there were some gaps in the days like i was most likely in the office and just forgot to film stuff i want to do a shop update in the coming months so stay tuned for that and I am restocking all of my stuff from my previous shop updates like you guys loved all the fish stuff so I'm definitely restocking all of those and of course the bookmarks and everything. That's on my first month of Patreon. I really love it. I love my community on there and you guys on there are all so sweet and I really like connecting with you guys more. It is a little bit more work because I am creating extra content for patreon like i do like an extra video each month and i've been doing like live streams and those watch parties so it is a little bit more planning on my end so that's why i haven't been as active on my other channels because i just haven't been making that much art honestly and i can't believe august is coming up already like now i have to do everything all over again yeah i'm still having a good time so i am going to finish this up and this is where we part for today's vlog if you want to see extra stuff from me go ahead to my patreon page and yeah i hope everyone has a lovely day and i will see you in the next one bye